So today we have a summer theme set of cookies and um, how it works is I'm going to decorate and y'all can see up there on that big TV um, all of the steps that I'm going to walk you through. So on this set here um, we have a flamingo, we have a pineapple and a snow cone or not snow cone but an ice cream cone and we're going to do a flip flop and this is going to be a watermelon slice and then a, a hibiscus flower. Okay, so um, you've got a scribe tool and um, this is for uh, scraping off anything that you're not happy with during the outlining process. Um, and then also when we flood the cookies, you can take the needle and you can kind of move the icing around and get it to where you need it to go. Um, and then sometimes the icing will have little air bubbles and you can pop those little air bubbles with that as well. And we have a little cup of sprinkles that we're gonna use on our ice cream cone. And we've got this cute little flower here. Um, and we're gonna put that on our flip flop at the end. So, a little ice in there. So before we get started, and if y'all have any questions specific to how I make the dough or icing or anything of that nature. Are these all the same flavor? No, um, these are different flavors. So your hibiscus, your watermelon, and your pineapple, these are white almond. And then your ice cream cone, your flip flop, and your flamingo, those are gonna be your vanilla brown sugar. Okay. Yeah, and you can smell the bottom of them. Mm -hmm. And that'll give you an indication um, we also have a slew of colors, <laughs> so we have lots of um, icings to play around with today. Um, the only one that's going to be a uh, thicker consistency is going to be the, the black, and it's tied at the top with a knot, and it does not have a clip at the bottom um, where it's been cut because it's really just not going to go anywhere. It's just going to stay in the bag until you actually put pressure on the bag. Um, the rest of these though, however, um, these are uh, kind of a flood consistency, but they're not super runny. Um, so we're gonna do our outlining with these as well. Um, and uh, what I did was I just cut the very tip of these bags off. And uh, to begin with, we're just gonna outline everything and then we're gonna go back with these same bags and we're gonna flood everything. So you've got those colors there and then you also have uh, the light pink, and then this one's the watermelon color. It's the dark pink, and then the yellow. And then we also have uh, a bunch of white. So, I always go overboard with the white. <laughs> so, um, all right, so what we'll do is uh, we'll kind of get started on outlining everything. And so how many, I know you've been to a workshop, but has anybody else been to a workshop before? You have? Have y'all ever, no. y'all any, okay. So um, I'm gonna show y'all real quick how the icing bags work. And um, so let's see, what would be the, what would be the best one to start off with that would be the easiest that y'all could see? Um, let's go ahead and do the, uh, the dark pink. So go ahead and grab that dark pink. And what I want you to do is I want you to just kind of lightly um, give it a little bit of a massage um, so that um, sometimes the water will separate from the icing and so we just want to give it a little bit of a mixing inside the bag before we get started okay and I'm going to go ahead and cut my the tip of my bag here all right so you've got some extra space there on your pans with some parchment paper and actually it's a dry wax paper. <laughs> but you're gonna take your, um, your dark pink bag and you wanna hold it up at the top here where the clip is and you'll notice that the icing's already starting to fall out. So you're just gonna touch that down and you're gonna lift up, okay? And you're just gonna pull over to drag a line. Y'all see that okay? So just give it a good little amount of pressure and you're gonna drag it over to create a thin line. Now, if your bags aren't working okay, just let me know and I can come cut it a little bit more. 
Now, if it's, if it's coming out like this, you're squeezing too hard, okay? So you wanna just lift up and you're just gonna watch that icing as it falls and you're just gonna move over as it falls and you wanna match your movement to the pressure that the line of icing is coming out. So y'all doing okay with that right now? Everybody's icing bag working okay? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our watermelon and I'm gonna be picking these cookies up and holding them up a little bit so y'all can see them a little bit better, but y'all go ahead and just leave them on the pan in front of you, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, we're gonna come in almost halfway and we're gonna drag this line. We're gonna leave some space to the edge there. And we're just gonna go all the way up here. Okay? So just, just do a little, almost like a little rainbow arch, okay? Now, you wanna leave about the same amount of space as like maybe your pinky nail width around the edge there. And don't forget, if, you, if you're not happy with what you've done, you can take your scribe tool and you can scrape it off and you can try again. Okay, then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna do this little wiggle wiggle. Now, when you come in here and you do this, you will kind of have to bring your bag kind of close to the cookie. You wanna just kind of push it close in those little areas there. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flood this in. And when we flood, we're gonna give it a good amount of pressure. So you're gonna squeeze at the top of the bag and instead of holding it up and dragging a thin line, you're actually gonna give it a good amount of pressure and you're just gonna flood in and coat and cover the surface of the cookie. So go ahead and fill all of this in. And then if you want to get if you want to get the pink right up next to these little I don't know what that noise is. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Is your phone vibrating? Or it's banging? I don't know what that is. It might be, it's the microphone. It is this crazy microphone. Let me turn this off and then turn it back on. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Anyways, go ahead and get your icing as close to that edge as you can with your scribe tool. And while y'all are working on that, I'm gonna turn this off and turn it back on and see if that helps. Okay. Test, 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 test. Test, test, test. test. Okay, we'll see if that fixes that. So, what it does is it will start to um, do like this, like it will start to, and then you can take your scribe. Oh, I'm <laughs> Yeah, it's still doing it, isn't it? That's weird. Well, I'm gonna have to go buy a new contraption, I guess. This one's wigging out on me. All right, I'm just gonna turn it off. I think I can talk loud enough where y'all can hear me without it.
Everybody good on their watermelon? Getting there? So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our yellow bag and again, you're just gonna give it a little bit of a, a mix inside the bag, just give it a little mush here. Just make sure that the icing is mixed in real good. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tip of this. So we're gonna take our little pineapple Okay, and we're just simply going to, and I'm gonna pick it up so y'all can see a little bit better here. So I'm just gonna go right across this top section here in between the, the green part and the actual fruit part, and you're just gonna do a line of yellow. And then you're gonna come down here and you're gonna go ahead and outline the pineapple. And you wanna hold it up. Make sure you hold that bag up and drag up that thin line and just go all the way around the pineapple here. So go ahead and outline your pineapple. And then we're also gonna outline our flip-flop. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, the pineapple there and then we're also gonna get our flip-flop and we're gonna outline this cookie as well in the yellow. All the way around? The yes, top. just all the way around. And you might wanna just leave a little bit of the edge open. You might not wanna go all the way to the edge on this one because it's such a big cookie. You might want to leave just a little bit of space on the edge there. Y'all see that okay? So the flip-flop and then the, the base of the pineapple in yellow. Then once you get done with those two, you're gonna take your green and you're gonna give it a little mushing up. Make sure it's mixed up real good in the bag. Y'all laughing at my technical terms? Oh, she's tasting it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So on the pineapple top here, we're gonna take our green and you're actually gonna go ahead and touch that yellow. So you're gonna make a connection in the icing and so you won't leave a gap. And you're just gonna come in here and you're gonna outline the top of your pineapple with the green. And again, you wanna make that connection there. And let's go ahead and flood this in. So go ahead and come in here and fill that in after you've got it outlined. And you're just gonna fill all of that in with the green. Okay, so again, if, if you need to, um, you need to smooth it down you can take your scribe tool and just come in here and, and just put the needle 
right inside and give it a little bit of a wiggle. And we're just gonna come in here and smooth that green out. Just like that. You gonna have fun? <laughs> yeah, I know. A lot of times I catch myself holding my breath. Well, that's what I've realized that every time I mess up, it's because I'm holding my breath and then I like take a deep breath. Yeah. So I have to like, it's like when I'm working out, I have to breathe. Yeah. Breathe. <laughs> yeah. I've done it so much, especially when I'm working on an order, like if it's wedding cookies or something, I'm stressed that it has to be absolutely perfect. I'll be sitting there decorating, and then all of a sudden I just get so lightheaded. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've just not been breathing. Because <laughs> I don't want to breathe and move and mess it up. What is on that pineapple? I think it's just the reflection. I was looking at it a while ago. I'm like, what? I don't have that color. <laughs> oh, oh, that's just a reflection. Oh, okay. reflection of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. I was like, oh, I've, I've no, been I following directions. <laughs> no, it's, it's just this, like, this light. Oh. It's just beaming right on that. But you know, that gives me an idea. Let's take some of our yellow. And while that green is still kind of wet, this would be cute to just come in here and do some little just to add a little bit to it. I was just gonna leave it, that's kinda cute. Okay. Next, we're going to take our light brown, and we're just going to give it a little mix. I'm going to cut the tip of this off just a little bit. We're going to take our little um, ice cream cone. So we're going to take our little ice cream cone here, and we're going to take our light brown, and we're just going to go right across the top of the cone and do a thin line. And again, to do the thin line, you wanna kinda of hold it up and drag it out. And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna outline the cone with that light brown. And we're not gonna flood this in quite yet. We're gonna let it sit just a second before we do that. So we're just gonna outline the bottom of the cone with a light brown. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Next, we're going to take our white. And we're going to um, come in here on the top of our ice cream cone. And where this indention is here, we have two little, little, sloop, uh, little curves outward. We're going to come and we're going to just go across. Right there. You see that okay? And then we're going to come up and we're going to outline the top curve with our white. So just do that outline right there on the top of this uh, ice cream cone. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it snow cone. <laughs> And while you still have that white, you're gonna get your watermelon slice. And we're gonna come, come in here on the top of that red, and instead of doing a thin line, we're gonna give it a little bit of a squeeze. And we're just gonna slowly pipe out a line of white, and it needs to be a little bit thicker than an outline. So you're just going to give it a light pressure. And you're going to do a line of white up next to your pink. And then you're going to take your green and you're gonna squeeze out green and you're gonna go ahead and put that green right next to the white on that outside edge. Coffee makers being loud. All's worried about is being loud because our family's never quiet. <laughs> oh no, y'all are fine. Y'all, y'all have fun. But then now I'm realizing that I mean, one time that day I walked in here to find. I was oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I thought, oh my gosh, why is it so quiet? Oh, I know, it's so funny. It's like I have to, I have to kind of like work at it to get people to start like talking and everything, because <laughs> everybody gets so intense. <laughs> I'm like, it's just cookies. Y'all have fun. <laughs> There's no grade, I promise. Uh, trust me, got, <laughs> yeah. so, there, there's going to be a great. There's some perfectionist. <laughs> yeah. uh, we got some internal competition mm -hmm. going on. I see how it is. <laughs> Oops, 
You can also um, go ahead and fill in the bottom of the cone with that light brown. And so you're just gonna um, squeeze out that brown and just give it a good amount of pressure so it's not just a thin line, but you're piping out a thicker line and you wanna touch the inside of your outline all the way around. And then you're just gonna come in here and you're gonna fill and cover the entire surface of that section on this cookie. And that brown should settle down on its own after a little bit, but if you want to go in here with your scribe tool and help it out, you can do that as well. And you can kind of push, push it into those little corners if you couldn't quite get, get in there with your bag. So just fill, fill in your, your uh, cone with the light brown. I have boxes over over there for sale if you want any. <laughs> so can these be frozen or do you not recommend that because of the ice? No, you can actually freeze it. You can um, you can freeze the icing in the cookies. So they can absolutely be frozen, no problem. I mean, it was like that at the beach, too, but it was different. I don't know. Yeah. So on our um, flamingo here, you're going to take your light pink. And I'm going to give it a little mix in the bag before we get going. It's weird to have this mic here and it's not working. So I'm just going to give it a good mix. Cut the tip of my bag here. So on the flamingo, the little beak here, we're gonna start off, I'm gonna pick this up so you can see a little bit better. We're gonna start at the top of the beak. Well, there we go. And we're just gonna come in and swoop around to the bottom at the beak. Okay, and then you're gonna take your blue, I'm gonna give it a mush here. And take your little blue bag. And you're just gonna put a little dot. Like if you were to swing around and come down, there would be a dot right here. Because this is gonna be a flower. So you want your dot to be right there in the middle of where that flower is gonna go. And then you're gonna come up with your blue and you're gonna swing up to that corner. You're gonna make a petal. Then 
Then you're gonna swing over and make a petal here. So it almost looks like a bow. And you're gonna come out here and you're gonna swing out a little bit. And you're gonna come back in. And you'll finish out this petal out here on the outside. And then you'll do one last petal here. And then inside each petal, you're just gonna squeeze out a little blob and try not to touch the outlines and just put little blobs right in the center of each of those petals. Then you're gonna go back to your pink and you're gonna outline the rest of the flamingo's head. And you're gonna go up next to that blue and finish out the outline of the head and go all the way down on the neck. Okay. And don't forget, you can scrape off. <laughs> you can scrape it off and fix it if you need to. And we're gonna um, we're gonna go back to our yellow, and we're gonna take our pineapple, move it over here, and move this up here out of the way for a second. So I'm gonna take my pineapple. And we're gonna work on our pineapple and our flip-flop. And we're gonna use our yellow and our dark pink. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flood in our pineapple and I'm just squeezing at the top of the bag. And I'm putting the pressure around the top of the bag where the tag is. 
and I'm just squeezing out a good amount and I'm going around the outside first. And then I'm gonna continue to the middle of the cookie, just touching icing to icing as I make my way around to the middle. Okay. And then you can take your scribe tool and just kind of agitate the surface of that yellow to get it to help it smooth out a little bit quicker. And you're gonna take your dark pink, once you flooded the middle with yellow, and you just wanna make sure that you clean the tip of the bag, that there's not any uh, dried or pressed up icing. You're gonna take your dark pink, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag and drop some crisscross lines so it doesn't really matter the spacing, you just wanna do it even spacing across your cookie so you can have more or less. Just make sure they're about even. So you can do one way and then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna crisscross the other way. Then you're gonna take your green, and in between those, you're just gonna do a little dot of green. And you're kinda of slightly pushing it into that yellow, just a little bit. And that's going to finish off our little pineapple. So let's go ahead and take our blue again. And on our flower here that we did on our flamingo, Let's go ahead and flood in this top petal and we're gonna squeeze out that blue and we're gonna fill in this petal. And you're gonna go ahead and go over the top of that big blob that you did. So you're just gonna fill it in and go over that blob. The technical term is blob, by the way. <laughs> and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna skip one and we're gonna do this bottom one the same way. We're just gonna fill it in and go over the, the blob that we did earlier and just fill those two in of your petal there. Okay.
go ahead and come over here to our, our ice cream cone real quick. And let's go ahead and flood in the top of the ice cream cone with the white. So you're just gonna take that white and you're just gonna squeeze at the top of the bag with a good amount of pressure. And we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna fill in the top of our ice cream here. And then after you fill in the ice cream, you're gonna take your light brown. And real similar to what we just did on the pineapple, you wanna make sure that your bag is clean and doesn't have any crusted up icing or icing oozing out anywhere. And we're gonna do diagonal lines over the top of the cone. Now we're just gonna go one direction and we're gonna leave it for a second. So just do, just do about three diagonal lines and just let them set up for a second, okay? Yeah, the light brown. Make sure the bag is clean. The tip of the bag is free from any gunked up icing. And then you just wanna do about three diagonal lines across the cone. And we're just gonna do those first diagonal lines. Um, and we're gonna let those set up a second. Once you do your lines and your brown, you can take your little cup of sprinkles. And you just wanna reach in and, and get a little pinch of sprinkles and you're just gonna drop them right on top of that white icing. You can have lots of sprinkles or lots of sprinkles. <laughs> Gotta have lots of sprinkles. Go ahead and drop those sprinkles up there. And then you can use your scribe tool if you need to kind of push them around and get them where they need to be. If any of them are hanging on the side for dear life, just take your scribe tool and push them back on there. This is the only thing we're using sprinkles on. Yes, unless you want to go rogue and do your own thing. <laughs> no, I was just asking, I wasn't sure if I needed to reserve it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> You're gonna have a, a coated, mm -hmm. coated ice cream. Another little, another little tip too is if any of the sprinkles fall off the side anywhere and you want to pick them up, you can dip your um, your scribe tool in that wet white icing and get get a little bit sticky, and then you can dab the sprinkles that might have fallen and pick them up with your scribe tool. Just a little trick of the trade. <laughs> Okay, and then we can go ahead and do our other diagonal lines on our cone. And the reason why we wanted to wait a little bit is we wanted the first lines to kind of set up a little bit so that they didn't just all uh, blend together, yeah. Looks like a little waffle cone. Thank <laughs> you. 
it to yourself. We can also go ahead and take our blue again and come back over here to the flamingo on the flowers. And we'll go ahead and flood in one of these uh, inside petals. And again, you just wanna cover it completely up. And then we'll go and do this outside petal. So we'll just have one left. So next we're going to take our flip-flop and our yellow and we're going to just flood the entire flip-flop with yellow. So I'm just giving it a good firm squeeze at the top of the bag and you just use the, the bag itself to kind of push that icing around and you want to go and make a connection to the inside of your outline. So go ahead and come in here and flood and give it a good squeeze at the top of the bag. And just completely cover the entire flip-flop when you don't see any cookies showing. And if you need to take your scribe tool and come in here and agitate the surface a little bit to get it to smooth out. Okay, so take a look at your little flower that you have that has the pearl. So if you have a pink flower, you're gonna do this next thing in blue. If you have a blue flower, you're gonna do this next step in the dark pink. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're gonna use the opposite color of the flower that you have. Okay, so you're gonna come in here on top of that wet yellow and you're gonna take either your dark pink or your teal, or not teal, but uh, whatever this color is, blue, and we're going to come in here and we're just going to do some little polka dots. And you just kind of press them down a little bit like we did the green on the pineapple. So you're just going to squeeze and push, push them in that yellow icing a little bit. And again, it doesn't matter how big they are or how spaced out they are, you just wanna stay consistent as you work your way down the flip-flop. So if you make them bigger and more spaced out, just try to keep that same consistent pattern as you work your way down. So if you need to stop and look up and see how you were doing You can make them big and spread out, or you can make them small, close together. Just make sure that whatever, however you start them is how you 
continue that same pattern and spacing as you make your way down. And you want to kind of push them into that yellow um, as you as you lay those down. You don't want to just plop them on top. You want to kind of push them into that yellow just a little bit so they sink down into that yellow icing as you're putting the polka dots down. Y'all doing okay with that? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to get our hibiscus flower. Hibiscus flower, yeah. And we're finally going to do something on this cookie. <laughs> we're going to take our light pink and we're gonna put a little dot in the middle. Just to, as close to the middle as you can get. It's kind of a weird shaped cookie. And just like we did on the flower over here on the flamingo, we're gonna take our pink and we're gonna lift it up and do thin lines for outlines and we're going to go out here and we're going to do one petal and then you're going to skip a petal and you're going to do another petal here And then you'll go ahead and draw out the other ones. But instead of doing another uh, line all the way to the middle, you're just going to kind of start using the line that's there and kind of go into the line that's already there. So you don't want to go all the way in. You're just going to kind of outline the top half and use the line that's there already so that your lines in the middle don't get really thick by continuing to go into the middle. So just connect, connect and do the outside of those last three. Once you draw out those petals, you can um, take
take your blue and you can go ahead and flood in the final flower petal on the flamingo here in blue. Next, we're gonna take our yellow, and on our hibiscus flower, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna kind of flood in, almost so like a little teardrop shape, in yellow, into each one of these petals. So he's gonna take it and swoop it around and do like a teardrop. Mm -hmm into each one of these petals here. Okay. You want to come about ha a halfway into each of these little petals here. So you're going to go ahead and do the, the um, teardrop shape in the yellow. And then immediately after that, you're gonna take your pink and you're gonna flood in the rest with the pink. And you're just gonna go right up next to that yellow. So just go ahead and fill in the outside with pink and go ahead and push that pink right up next to that yellow that you just did the teardrops. And then you're gonna take your scribe tool and you're gonna wiggle it around in that yellow and you're just gonna pull the yellow icing up into the pink icing. So you're just gonna take your scribe tool and swirl it around a little bit and then pull, pull it into the yellow. And you want to try to work pretty quickly because the icing does start to set up pretty quick. So go ahead and get it flooded in and then start pulling that yellow out into the pink with your scribe tool. And once you get it uh, pulled out a little bit, you can take it and you can pick it up and give it just a little bit of a shake and that'll help smooth it all together.
Here, I'll get you a clean one. Job. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. God is like, whatever, lady. So now you're going to take your pink and you're going to take your ice cream cone and down here on this bottom section here, there's like two little swoops. We're going to outline this bottom swoop with some pink and we're going to go ahead and touch that uh, cone and then you're going to go ahead and just Fill it in with the pink. So just go ahead and outline it and go ahead and fill it in with some pink icing. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and flood in your flamingo with that pink. Good thing I have a cup full of them. I'm going to make you get up and come get this one. <laughs> He's going to wipe it off? All right. Okay. So then we're going to come in here and we're going to flood in the flamingo with that same pink. So again, you just want to work your way around the inside of your outline. And you just go ahead and make your way around the inside all the way around and just touch that pink icing to the outline now once you get up here to your flower it might be kind of hard to get it all the way connected don't worry just get as close as you can and then keep moving and then you can go back with your scribe tool if you need to get it up into those little tiny spots but go ahead and flood the entire surface and then go back in with your scribe tool and push it up into those little areas if you need to because sometimes it'll it'll go up into those spots once it's flooded on its own It's looking cuter and cuter. And so next we're going to get our flip-flop.
and you want to get your bag of white icing and you just want to clean it off and make sure that there's not any dried icing around the tip and just take a wipe and clean that off so on your flip-flop and I'm gonna hold this up so you guys can see it a little bit better so right here in this top area just picture like a circle up here in this top half of the cookie okay so about in the middle of this you're just gonna put a dot and I'm gonna hold that up so y'all can see it's it's right there okay it's right here So basically it's like at the at the heel, if you find the middle of the heel and you just go straight up. Okay. So you see where it's curved over here on the inside of the, the foot? Mm -hmm. There's this curve here. So what you're gonna do is above where it starts to curve, you're gonna put a dot. So above where that curve is you're gonna put a dot. And then below the curve, you're gonna put a dot. Okay. So a dot above the curve and one kind of at the bottom of the curve. Now you're gonna look across the cookie and you're gonna draw an imaginary line across from that top dot and you're gonna place a dot on this side. So if you just went straight across, you're gonna put your dot there. And the same thing for this dot over here, you're gonna draw an imaginary line, go across the flip-flop and place your dot right across from that one. Y'all see that okay? Okay. So what we're gonna do is this top dot above the curve, you're just gonna do a connecting line from that to the center point. And you wanna hold the icing bag up to get that thin line like when we first started outlining everything. Same thing with the dot at the bottom of the curve, you're just going to go straight line up to that dot. Then you're going to connect the two with a line. So connect the two. So now on these other side, we're not going to do straight lines, okay? We're going to kind of curve up and over. So it's kind of a curve, curve line over. Y'all see that okay? Same thing, you're going to do from the bottom and you're gonna curve up towards that center dot. So instead of straight lines, they're curved over. And then you'll just connect them. Y'all good with that? Then you're just gonna come in here and you're gonna flood it in with your white. You're just gonna come in here and you're just gonna flood it in. Let's go ahead and flood it all the way in. Don't worry about it being perfect. Just get it flooded in and then you'll take your scribe tool 
and you'll come in here and you'll clean it up a little bit. You'll take your scribe tool and wiggle that surface around and get it to smooth, smooth out. And this is where you can kind of clean up the little lumps and bumps. Okay. Isn't it cute? So we're gonna let that set just a few minutes before we put the flower on it. And you go back over here to our ice cream cone. And this pink icing has formed a little bit of a crust. So we're gonna take our scribe tool and you wanna clean it off. And we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna kinda of swirl around and crunch up that crusted surface to that pink. So you're just gonna come in here and you're just gonna kinda poke around. And you're really gonna chunk it up. Yeah, man. So you're gonna come in here, you're just gonna stab it and pretend it's that Lady Karen that you can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> so just come in here and just fluff it up and tear it up. Break that up. After you do that, let's go ahead and take our green and make sure it's good and clean. And let's go back to our little pineapple here. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start in the middle and we're gonna just do a thin line and we're gonna swoop it around and we're gonna outline every other Every other one. It's going to come in here. And you're just going to outline every other. Y'all see that okay? So just do every other one for right now. So add a little bit of texture. And then let's take our yellow and let's go ahead and re-outline around the edge here on the pineapple. So you're just gonna give it one more little outline on the outside edge with your yellow. And we'll go back here in a few minutes and do the rest of that green and then that'll finish that up. But let's just do that for right now. Every other little section in the green and then re-outline that yellow around the bottom.
Now we're gonna take our white and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna outline this top section on our ice cream. And you wanna make sure that you go down and make that connection to the pink icing. And you go up and make that connection to the top and then you're just gonna flood it in. And be careful not to get too close to the edge and be careful not to overflow. Just flood it in. So you don't go too crazy with it, but you wanna get it good and filled in and connected to the top and bottom real good. And then while you still have your white on the little beak of your um, flamingo, you're gonna come down and you're just gonna do a line of white. Okay, so you're gonna leave, leave the tip open and you're gonna do the top and bottom with the white. And then also with your white, you're gonna take your hibiscus. You can glue it back together. Yeah, just glue it back together. <laughs> so you're gonna take your hibiscus and you're gonna take your white and you're gonna decide which way you want it to go, first of all. I'll do it this way. I'm gonna start here in the middle and I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna sweep over with a white line. And then you just wanna come out away from that and do some dots and you wanna make sure that you space them out and that you don't put them too close together where they just that you don't want them to blend together. You want them to beat up and stay separated. So make sure they're not too big and make sure they're not too close together. Because you want them to stay separated. We're in the home stretch now. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she just licks the icing off her tool over there. It's hilarious. So we can go ahead and take our little candy flower with the pearl in the middle. And you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna take some white icing and you're just gonna put a little dab of white icing on the bottom of that little flower. And then you're just gonna flip it over and you're gonna attach it. You're just gonna lay it right on top of that flip flop. And just slightly little tap to place it there.
We can also go ahead and take our pineapple in that green and we can go ahead and just connect the top of these other sections, sweep it around and connect to the icing that's there. And go ahead and finish re-outlining those little green sections here. And that will finish off our pineapple. On our flamingo, we're gonna take some yellow. And we're gonna come in here to the pink and we're just gonna do a wide squeeze of yellow and you wanna kinda of pull it down a little bit on the sides, just a hair. So it kinda of is thinner at the bottom and the top. I'm gonna lift it up so you guys can see. <laughs> kind of looks like a backwards moon. Okay. Then you're gonna take your white and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna fill in right up next to that yellow. And you're gonna come down to where your outline stopped and you're gonna kind of curve it. Okay. Can anybody guess what the last part is? Black. So the black is a little bit thicker. So you're just gonna take your black and you're gonna give it a good squeeze. And you're just gonna push that black right up next to that white. And you're gonna come down and you're gonna fill in the black. And you're gonna give it a good squeeze and just fill it in with black. You wanna give it a good amount, just go ahead and Cover that in and then take your scribe tool and agitate the surface of that black to smooth it out. So just go ahead and fill it in really good with your black and then take your scribe tool and quickly, once you flood it in, quickly go in here and agitate the surface with the black with your scribe tool. to get it to smooth out. Okay, and then you're gonna take your scribe tool and you're gonna just drag up that black. Okay, y'all see that? And then you can come in here and you can agitate that surface again to smooth it down. But you wanna really pick up as much of that black as you can and pull it up into that white and yellow to a thin line. So you wanna work as quickly as you can because that black is gonna to start to crust up. So just go ahead and agitate that surface until it's nice and smooth.
Everybody doing okay on that? That one's a little bit stressful. <laughs> Then you're gonna just wipe off your black bag and get all that gunky black off of it. Just take your wipe and clean that bag real good. And up here on the flamingo, I'm gonna hold it up so y'all can see a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here And I'm gonna draw out, I'm gonna go up and over and swing it up and do a little eyelash there. Nice. So you're just gonna go up and down and then swing it out for a little eyelash. And you can practice on the paper a couple of times before you actually mess up your cookie. <laughs> so you just start going up and you make a curve like an arch. And then instead of ending the arch, you're just going to kind of swing it out a little bit. And then you're going to add another little swoop. After that, you're going to take your yellow and you're going to make sure it's clean of any dried icing. And here in the middle of this flower, we're going to kind of come up and swoop it around with a little bit of yellow. And then we're just going to do some tiny little dots. right on top there. And then we can add some little seeds to our um, watermelon. So you're gonna take your black, and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it this way. So I'm just gonna squeeze and pull down, and squeeze and pull down. And I'm just going to do that all the way around. And add some little watermelon seeds. So you just kind of squeeze and then you drag out a little tail. And you can use the bag to kind of push that icing down in a little tail. That is one ripe watermelon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
And once you get done with your siege, you're just gonna clean off your scribe tool and make sure that there's not any icing on the scribe tool. And then we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna crunch up our section of white ice cream. Just gonna stab it up. So it's been crusting up a little bit. So we can come in here and just stab through that crusted white icing in this middle section. And go ahead and go all the way to the edges doing that little technique there. So it looks like ice cream. And that, my dears, finishes up our little set. <laughs> Y'all did great.